This is the real Tom Rose, and this is a really challenging problem. Um, the main reason it's so challenging is because it asks you for a very strange thing. For which of the following values of n will the system of equations have no solution? Most people don't have much experience creating a situation that does not have a solution. So I'm going to show you a couple systems of equations, one that does have a solution, and one that has no solution. And I want you to look at the difference, and we're going to use that as a model for solving the given problem. So here's a system of equations that has a solution. Uh, let's do x plus y equals 5, x minus y equals 6. And I'm, I'm kind of just making this up, but these are this is a system of equations that does have a solution. One way that you may want to combine equations is by adding them. And the way that you add equations is you just add top to bottom, adding all the components. So x plus x will be 2x, um, y minus y will be 0, and 5 plus 6 will be 11. Now, one of the reasons why almost all equations have solutions is because when you deal with variables, the variable can be almost anything it wants. So in this particular case, x becomes 11 over 2, and that's the solution. The quote solution is x equals 11 over 2. And since the x can be anything it wants, there's almost always a solution. So let me give you an equation now that has no solution. Um, x plus y equals 5, and 2x plus 2y equals 12. Now let's let's try to do um, to do our same technique here which is let's add these equations and uh, and see if we can figure out what the solution is. Well first order of business is um, if we do that nothing's going to cancel out. So let's uh, multiply the top equation by, say, negative 2. And what will we end up with? We'll end up with negative 2x minus 2y equals negative 10. So now I'm dealing with the following system right here. And let's go ahead and add them together. 2x minus 2x is 0x. 2x minus 2y is 0y equals 2. And what you'll end up with is 0 equals 2. There's no variables in it, and it's not true. So there's no solution. When you end up with two numbers equal, set equal to one another that are not true, this is the equivalent of saying this equation has no solution. All right, so now we're faced with a similar problem up here, but we're asked to actually build a system of equations that has no solution. So let's start with um, 3x plus 8y equals 11. This is the equations as we were given them. Let's do nx minus 16y equals 25. And let's fo first focus on canceling out the y variables because those are the known quantities. And you can see that in order for this to work, we're going to need to multiply the top by 2, because we want to get 16 and negative 16. So the new equation we're going to be dealing with is 6x plus 16y equals 22. Now let's add these two equations. And what we'll end up with is nx plus 6x equals 47. And here's the game. What we want to end up with is some equation which is wrong. We want to have two numbers which are not equal to one another. Now since we have a variable in here, x, we have to be careful because since variables can be anything, can be any number, if we're left with a variable, 
we're not going to be able to create a no solution situation. So we need for this term here to cancel out and go to zero. So let's factor the x out and we actually end up with n plus 6 times x equals 47. And the only way to make it so that this left side of the equation goes to zero is to set n equal to negative 6. And let's try that. Let's plug negative 6 in for n. plus 6 and what you end up with is 0 equals 47 which is not true and you see that that negative 6 becomes the answer